Help it. From SM Encounters Gone Wrong to Satanic Cultists, we count 14 macabre crimes committed through Craigslist. Number 14. S and M. John Keith is an American student met George Weber, a popular radio reporter, through a Craigslist ad about S and M, aka rough sex. During the meetup, John revealed his true intentions and stabbed George 50 times. Needless to say, George didn't survive the encounter. John later confessed to the crime after being caught. He told police he was a Satanist following the teachings of Anton Levy and the Church of Satan. The very next day, John pleaded not guilty but was still convicted of second degree murder. Number 13. More Satanism Miranda Barbour claims she murdered between 22 and 100 people while possessed by her satanic alter ego, Super Miranda. Unsurprisingly, regular Miranda's having a hard time convincing people of the nature of these killings. The Satanist cult that Miranda belonged to ordered her to go to North Carolina with her uncle. Not long after arriving, she met Alette Barbour, who she married shortly after. Miranda, ever the romantic type, thought that a nice little murder would bring the two of them together. So they put an ad on Craigslist looking for men not happy with their wives. The couple then found a man who they strangled and stabbed to death. Super Miranda and Mega Elit are now serving life sentences in prison. Number 12. Diamonds. James Sanders put a diamond ring up for sale on Craigslist. He eventually received a reply to the ad and invited the young couple over to his house to take a look at the ring. However, this was all a farce and the married couple turned out to be a group of thieves. When the thieves arrived, they tied the family down while robbing the house. One of the crooks ended up getting rough with the 14-year-old Sanders boy and this turned out to be too much for James to take. He tried to retaliate but ended up being shot by one of the assailants, then he died in his wife's arms. All four criminals received sentences between 79 and 123 years in prison. Number 11. Five Step Heist Diane Warwick, who already had a history of robbing pharmacies for their drugs, went to a drug recovery program and demanded them under the threat of murder to hand over their prescription medicine. Diane was found not guilty due to the fact that she was insane. Later, Diane answered an ad on Craigslist to serve as a caregiver for 70-year-old Mary Jane Scanlon in California. Mary couldn't leave the confines of her wheelchair or bed without assistance, so Diane had little resistance when she stabbed Mary to death. This time, Mary received a sentence of 31 years to life in prison. Number 10. Ponytail. Timothy McDarrow was a well-renowned editor and columnist for US Weekly and the New York Post. Timothy responded to a Craigslist advert offering New York's freshest and youngest girls. Tim was a man of specific wants and he wanted a 14-year-old white girl with a ponytail. However, the ad was actually a honeypot trap set up by the FBI. So when Tim arrived at the destination, he was immediately arrested and received a mere 72 months in jail. Though I'm sure he made a lot of friends who were also interested in ponytails. Probably not in the way that he likes them, but you know, sometimes you gotta take what you can get. Number 9. The Original Catherine Ann Olson answered a babysitting ad for a woman named Amy, located in a rundown house in Savage, Minnesota. When Catherine arrived for the babysitting gig, she discovered that Amy turned out to be Michael John Anderson. Michael led her up to the bedroom on the second floor. No one knows what happened next, but at some point afterwards, Catherine tried to flee. But Michael shot her in the back and abandoned her in her car several blocks away. Michael wasn't a very smart man. He left the towel with his name on it with the body. He was the first murderer to be dubbed a Craigslist killer and is now serving a life sentence without parole. Number 8. Roommate Bowser was desperately looking for a roommate. He even offered the roommate the only bedroom in the apartment. Eventually, the generous deal bagged him a roommate with the last name Williams. Williams mostly kept to himself, never really showing his face, so eventually Bowser grew curious of his roommate and opened the door to find a complete mess, including a bunch of personal information about himself and Williams' diary with a creepy entry. The entry read, I'm only now just starting to get over being afraid every time someone looks at me twice on the street, every time a cop looks at me, thinking they know. Dino Lauren Smith was William's real name and he was a jewel thief, but Bowser never found out why he had so much of his personal information. Maybe it was identity theft or maybe he was just a little bit paranoid over who this Bowser fellow was. Still, at least he found a bunch of notes instead of a bunch of human body parts, so I think Bowser kind of got lucky on that one. Number 7. The Woods Richard Beasley used Craigslist to lure men into the woods so that he and his 16-year-old nephew, Broken Rafferty, could kill them. Together, the two of them had killed three men and buried them in shallow graves in the forest. In 2013, Richard was sentenced to death and Broken was sentenced to life in prison. Worst uncle ever. Number 6. Tiara David Kelsley Spar met Tiara Poole who had put up an ad looking for male companionship. David, being the sneaky bastard that he was, went back to her home while her husband was deployed at sea. Of course they had an affair, but that's not the crime here. Afterwards, David tortured Tiara and apparently took pleasure in doing so. Once he finished torturing her, he stabbed Tiara around 90 times in order to kill her. 
David was caught thanks to the police tracking his email, text messages, and phone calls. He was found guilty of second-degree murder and was sentenced to death by the state. Number 5 Prostitution. Four days after Amy Dickey was found dead in southwest Austin, Texas, the police found a suspect named Nathaniel Briscoe. Nathaniel was interviewed by two detectives who eventually squeezed a confession from him. He said that he answered an ad on Craigslist, then during sex with a prostitute he was told by her to lighten up. So he bit her and put his hands around her throat for around five minutes. Nathaniel was charged with murder and is now serving a life sentence in prison. Number four. Car for sale. Haroon Khan put an ad to sell his car on Craigslist. He eventually received an answer to the ad by Tammy LaFave and her boyfriend Travis Zolik. Instead of paying for the car, Travis stabbed Haroon to death and hit his car in his garage, all while Tammy watched with indifference. Travis ended up committing suicide before being arrested and Tammy was sentenced to 25 years in jail. All over a fucking car. Shameful. Number 3. Made. Michael answered an ad for a maid on Craigslist. When she arrived at his apartment, he locked the doors, raped her, and sexually assaulted her with a foreign object for over an hour. He then walked her out of the apartment, and she asked a passerby to call the police. Michael was arrested for rape, rape with a foreign object, forcible oral copulation, false imprisonment, assault, and was sentenced to 40 years in prison. Number 2. Med Student Philip Markov, engaged to Megan Allister, was a pre-med student and he answered ads for women on Craigslist. Not for odd jobs or even to cheat on his fiancée, he assaulted and robbed the women he met. However, one of his assaults got out of hand and he ended up murdering one of his victims, thus giving him a life sentence in jail. A day after what would have been his wedding anniversary, he committed suicide by stuffing toilet paper down his throat, suffocating himself with a bag, and cutting himself with a razor made from a jail-issued pin. Number 1. A Pregnant Crime Michelle Wilkins was 34 weeks pregnant with her daughter when she answered an ad by Dinal Lane on Craigslist for a bundle of cheap maternal clothes. Michelle turned up at Dinal's house where they talked for about two hours. Then without any warning, Dinal smashed a lava lamp over Michelle's head, shoved her onto a bed, took a shard of glass to slice Michelle's neck, and then smothered her with a pillow. In an attempt to stop further pain and damage, Michelle then said I love you to Dinal, who then replied with if you love me you let me do this. Dinal then cut the unborn baby from her womb. Michelle managed to survive the encounter and got an ambulance to the scene where they rushed her to emergency surgery. In the same hospital, there was a woman crying holding an unborn baby, claiming she had a miscarriage. It wasn't until quite a bit later that the woman holding the unborn baby was identified as Dinal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.